Hey guys, this is uh, John, aka Tanishan on YouTube. I uh, had decided recently to make a YouTube video about how to you how to level four out of the five schools of magic using one method that I came up with myself, using the Atronach Stone to give you 50% spell absorption, and then using a uh, Dwemer Fire Trap that's found in the very beginning of the ruins of Raldbathar. Uh, in order to get constant damage on your character, but because of the spell absorption, it'll also recharge your magicka. So this means no having to wait an hour for your magicka to recharge, because I know sometimes when you do that, especially rapid fire, like you tend to do if you're using expensive spells like Soul Trap, to level your conjuration, that you wind up sometimes freezing the game, or... Um, yeah, bad stuff will happen uh, sometimes if you do that. So, this uh, is just another method. In the beginning here, I'm going to be showing you how to loot bodies in the most efficient way possible so as to maximize your uh, carry weight by grabbing only lightweight things like light armor. Never grab weapons in the beginning because iron weapons weigh a lot and they're not worth that much. So... Uh, in terms of carry weight to gold value, well, light armor is the best thing to grab in the beginning. Um, as well as gemstones, potions, alchemy ingredients, um, you know, soul gems, things like that. Um, you'll also notice that I'm using the flame spell that you start out the game with. Uh, that I found, and it's been confirmed, that it's most efficient to use the flame spell by pulsing it instead of holding a steady flame on someone because you can actually stack the damage over time on them from the burn or after burn as it's called so that they take more damage very quickly so um, it'll deal more damage if you pulse both hands on someone uh, rapid fire like that so here you can just see me looting bodies and using the flame spell better like that. That way they don't get a chance to actually reach you because they'll die before they do. You know? And at least until you get the stronger spells. I find that flame spell can actually carry you quite far into the beginning of the game uh, until you get to the apprentice or even the adept fire spells. Especially if you level up your illusion magic to get the aspect of terror perk because it'll actually add a permanent 12 to 15 points damage to your fire spells since they have a fear element on them. So you can actually jump your flame spell up to 22, da 22 points of damage um, every second that you hold it on someone. Which will do a lot. In fact, if you combine that with the uh, dual casting perk, it'll actually multiply that damage by 2.2. So you could get uh, almost 50 points of damage per second out of a flame spell. So it's actually pretty nice. Um, this is a method of leveling your destruction magic early on. When you have your follower like this, or when they're crouched down right before you kill your first bear uh, at the end of the cave, they're actually... Uh, it's actually impossible to aggro them, so they'll just stand there and let you flame them repeatedly um, so that you can level up your destruction. And so, after looting the way you ought to have, you can come to Luke and Valerius and get quite a bit of gold off of him. Um, I usually leave Whiterun. What you want to do is you want to sell all of the stuff that you couldn't sell to Alvar in the morning to him. Like, sell him all of the, uh, like, circlets, and I'm not doing it right in this video, I messed up there. But, um, you want to sell, like, all of your potions that you don't need, and all the gemstones that you got from the Ember Shard Mine, and things like that. And all of the armor and weapons you can sell to Alvar in the morning to get a little bit more money, because you'll probably sell... Uh, Lucan out of money just by selling all of the expensive stuff like amethyst, bear pelts, and junk. Since this is a mage, I'm not going to keep any of this crafting stuff because I don't need it because I'm not going to level my smithing. Um, right, anything you find along the way that you don't need, you can sell it. 
You can also find a full set of Thalmor armor with the destruction magic fortification on it if you get to that Shrine of Talos. It's by that bandit camp up by uh, where the Guardian Stones are. Um, anyway, after you've sold your stuff to Lucan, you can get Sven you can get Feindal as a follower by telling Camilla the truth about Sven's letter. That way you can get Feindal's house key from him. You'll not only have him as a follower and a free trainer for archery, up to level 50 archery, but you can also get his house key and go to his house and loot everything out of it, because if you get a follower as a friend, you can actually take anything you want from their house and none of it is considered stealing. <clears throat> Same thing with Alvor. If you choose to go uh, with Hadvar through Helgen, you can loot Had Alvor's house, and if you go with... Uh, Rayloff instead, you can loot uh, Gerder's house, but I find that Alvar has, uh, it's a better deal to do that if you're like a warrior class, because you get free iron and steel ingots outside, as well as a, more armor that's available in his house. <clears throat> but yeah, like you can see right here, I'm just looting all of the expensive stuff out of Feindal's house. Everything that you could sell to Alvar before you leave, like all the pelts and the uh, stuff. And so you can sell all the stuff that you got. If he has any leftover gold, you can go finish him off by selling potions or something that you get from there. Like wine. And then you can sell all the weapons and stuff to Alvar and get some more money. So you should have like... Well, if you cleared both of them out, you'd have 1,500 gold from them alone. But usually I don't clear Alvar out all the way. So I'll leave uh, headed to Whiterun with at least 1,500 gold. And then when you get to Whiterun, obviously you can uh, do a couple quests like beating up Mikhail for Carlotta, and that'll wind up getting you 250 more gold. Um, so you have an even better nest egg. But anyway, you're just trying to get all this gold so you can buy the right spells so that you can level up your magic skills. So by the time you get to this guy... Farangar, the court mage, you should be able to afford the, a few select spells for leveling up your skills. You're going to want to get um, uh, Conjure Flame at your knock if you want to level your Conjuration or your Destruction later on, but the main spells you want to get is you want to get the Mage Light spell, the Muffle spell, and the Soul Trap spell. Because Mage Light will be used for leveling your Alteration, Muffle will be used to level your Illusion, and then Soul Trap will be used to level your Conjuration. And then Restoration will be leveled up by using your healing spells. Because the fire is going to be doing constant damage. The next thing you want to do is you want to take the carriage outside of Whiterun to Windhelm. <coughs> because once you get to Windhelm, you can um, just go directly south along the road from Windhelm and eventually if you go south past the hot springs and the and Kynes Grove and whatnot you'll find this little rocky outcropping over here um, over by this swamp called the Atronach Stone. It's over here. The Atronach Stone gives you 50% spell absorption uh, 50% reduced magicka regeneration, which is the downside, and uh, plus 50 additional magicka. So it'll increase your magicka pool, which is nice in the beginning of the game because that's actually better than increasing your magicka regen because when you start out in the game, you only have a, a, a hundred magicka, and the uh, regeneration rate is set at 3% of your total Magicka cap. So if you increase your Magicka by 50, that'll increase your Magicka regeneration by 50%. But um, if you have put a lot of points into Magicka and have like 300 Magicka points, then increasing your Magicka regeneration rather than your Magicka total will actually be better. After you've got the Atronach Stone, you want to fast travel back to the stables in Windhelm. And instead of going south, you want to go west across this bridge and just follow this path far enough west until eventually you'll see a couple of uh, Dwemer uh, ruins on your radar. 
The one that you want is called Raldbathar. It's over here. There's a staircase facing the south side of it. Uh, there's three bandits, one up at the top of the first level and two up with on the top level with bows. Um, once you take these guys out, uh, you want to head on inside. Again, you'll see me pulsing the fire so that they die before they hit me, usually. <laughs> Slow-mo camera. By the way, I'm sorry about the crappy picture quality. I don't have one of those fancy program uh, machines for recording game footage on a TV. See, here's where Rald Bathar is, just west of Windelm, uh, next to that lake. And uh, once you're inside, hold on for a load screen. <laughs> Gotta love those load screens. Anyway, once you're inside, there should be one guy in here that you're going to have to deal with. He's uh, asleep on a bed down at the bottom of the steps on the left side of the doorway leading to the fire trap. You're going to want to take him out um, and then strip his body so that he's lighter and then drag his body over to the fire so that you can use him to soul trap. Because one way to level your conjuration up is to cast soul trap repeatedly on a dead body. Because for some reason, even though it's the person's already dead, they still count as a valid target for soul trapping. Oh, forgot to grab his weapon. See what I'm saying about these weapons weighing so much. Now just slide the body over through the doorway. Over to the fire trap. You can see the bandits stuck a skeever on a spit up on there so that it could cook it for them. I like funny little things like that they put in the game. Anyway, you want to set up your spells. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, level up your conjuration. So we're, Oh, well first I'm going to favorite the spells I'm going to use. I love using the favorites list. Muffle and Mage Light. There we go. So now you want to use your uh, left and right hand D-pad buttons if you're on the PlayStation 3. That'll make it easier to switch between spells without having to use your menus and junk. So you want to stick the Soul Trap spell and cast it on the dead body. And as you can see, when I stand in the flames, it makes my Magicka regenerate really fast. So you're going to cast Soul Trap on the dead body. And when your health gets low, you're going to switch over to healing magic. If you need to, you, should, you can step out of the fire for a second. But you should be able to stand in the fire and it'll regenerate your magicka as well. You could also just keep healing spell in one hand and soul trap in the other and do it like this. So that way you're constantly healing your restoration magic and you're leveling up your conjuration as well. You want to try and get points into novice and adept conjuration as soon as you can because that will cut the cost of, of soul trap in half so you can cast it faster uh, or at least cheaper. It won't be so taxing on your magicka so that the mana, the spell absorb can wind up keeping your magicka reserves up really high even when you're casting it like this. As you can see, my conjuration has leveled up quite a bit. I already gained another level on my character, and my conjuration is level 35. Yeah, using Soul Trap is by far the best way to level up your conjuration. It just levels it up so fast. And as you can see with this method, you don't have to wait for your Magicka to regenerate. You just stand in the flames, and it'll your character will absorb. With 50% uh, spell absorption, the 50% just means the chant, the, it's a 50% chance that you will absorb the spell. It's not that you absorb 50% of the Magicka cost. You absorb 100% of the Magicka cost, but you only do it 50% of the time. And when you absorb the Magicka cost, it negates the damage from the spell as well. So a after using this method, what you could do is you could uh, switch to a different spell, uh, Standing Stone, and use uh, the uh, 
you could use, well what you could do is you could use a fortify restoration potion of a hundred percent um, and use it on yourself before activating the Atronach stone um, or you could use a 25% Fortify Restoration Potion before activating the Atronach Stone and the Atronach Perk, and that will give you a permanent 100% uh, Spell Absorption. Here I'm casting Mage Light to level up my Alteration. <coughs> uh, Soul Trap will actually level up your uh, Conjuration all the way to 100. You don't really have to get a different spell than that. That's the best way to do it. Alteration though is a little different. Mage Light is really slow in leveling your alteration up. But uh, once you get your alteration up to level 40, you should be able to go and go to any court mage and buy the telekinesis spell. And the telekinesis spell is so expensive that it will level your al your alteration up really fast once you get it. And then you can just drop something on the ground or you can grab a piece of Dwemer scrap from the entryway of this place and just hold it in front of you. But uh, anyway, yeah, just casting Mage Light in the beginning until you get it to level 40. Um... But yeah, 100% spell absorption is a really nice thing to have because it makes you immune to all magic. And I'm not saying just all spells. I mean any weapon that's enchanted with an effect, like fire damage or paralyze or whatever, is absorbed by your, um, by your spell absorption. Even if a skeever bites you because they have a magical effect of potentially inflicting a disease on you. Uh, you'll absorb that too, so your Magicka will actually regenerate from a Skeever Bite. <laughs> shouts are also absorbed, so that makes you immune to Shouts. Makes you immune to Dragon Fire and Ice, the Dragon Shouts. Or Dragon Breath, I guess you could say. And this is, uh, you level your Illusion Magic by casting the Muffle spell. So you see here I'm casting Healing in the left hand and muffle in the right hand and that'll level up your illusion magic and that's the be that's one of the best ways to level your illusion magic from to 100 another way to level your alteration is by getting the detect life spell and using that that'll level you really fast too but the telekinesis spell is available at an earlier level actually no I think they both become available at level 40 but the telekinesis spell can be used here to hold an object in front of you and that will level you fast whereas the detect life spell will only level you quickly if there's a lot of if there are a lot of people within view now from this spot there are possibly three people visible through the doorway that's down the stairs behind me right now but i don't know if they're close enough for you to detect them and uh, even if that were true, it would still be better to get uh, four pieces of Fortify al Alteration on your character and then just going to the Blue Palace and standing there and casting it. That would also level you up. And that way you just have to stick a rubber band around your remote control and just holding the Telekinesis spell. Although you could do that at this point, too. You could use that on... You could put a healing spell in one hand and telekinesis in the other, but the the problem with that trick doing it here is that the fire uh, spout isn't constant. It gives out it uh, from time to time, so you would actually you actually wouldn't be able to just rubber band your remote and leave it. You'd have to babysit it a little. Um, so anyway. Yeah, see the Atronach stone here, 50% spell absorption. 50% slower magicka. And if you use uh, a Brayton as your character and you use the dragon skin ability, it actually makes you immune for 60 seconds to uh, met to spells. See here, you, here you can see what I'm talking about, having 100% spell absorption. This way for 60 seconds you're immune to magic and it'll refill your magicka uh, even better because you're absorbing every spell, not just half of them.